Welcome back to No Ordinary Path. I'm Kristen. This is Dorothy behind me. I'm about to go in and do a kitchen inventory check on our RV because we are back in Phoenix and the RV is parked in the driveway right now. I'm going to open up the slide. We're going to go through the kitchen. It's Christmas time. So if you're looking for gifts for someone you know who has an RV or yourself, this might be a really informative video for you. We have purchased like basically duplicates of everything. When we bought our house last year, we decided we had to have things in the RV and things in the house so that one, our short-term rental renters could have something in the kitchen to use. And then also, so we're not like constantly moving things back and forth. But as you probably have figured out, an RV kitchen is different than a house kitchen. So today I'm going to go over 10 items that I absolutely love in my RV kitchen. You could use them in the house too, but they're especially helpful in the RV. So let's go. All right. Oh, yeah, we are all closed up and oh, yeah. So I'm gonna go clean up the kitchen real quick and then I'm gonna show you all the things that you should get for your RV kitchen. And that's a wrap on cleaning the kitchen. Welcome to La Casa de Farnsworth on wheels. My kitchen on wheels. Excuse me, I had to put my glasses on. Oh, they're so dirty. Are we ever gonna get to the content? Seriously. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm gonna show you 10 things in here that I absolutely could not live without in an RV kitchen. Now, I will preface this by saying that our kitchen here in Dorothy, our toy hauler, is phenomenally, 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 phenomenally. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's bigger than Wendy was. <laughs> Much bigger. I have a lot more cabinet space in this RV than I did in our travel trailer. So some of these things, they might not work for you if you have a smaller kitchen, but I think a lot of these things would have fit in with. These are not in any particular order. So this is the food saver. And what I love about this little guy, I'm gonna unplug it. This little thing comes right out of here and then it suctions. So there's bags that go with this. There's also food containers. I don't have the food containers yet. They're on my Christmas list, but the bags work really well. If you put uh, chopped up lettuce into a Ziploc bag and you take all the air out of it, it's gonna last like for two weeks instead of two days. I do this mostly for our produce. If there's sales on meat, I might buy meat in bulk and then package them in bags and suck all the air out of them. And not only does that help it last longer, but it also saves space in our teeny tiny refrigerator. Next is the age old pizza stone. This is the most obvious one and every RVer will tell you that you have to have a pizza stone in your RV oven. It's because it's a propane oven and it doesn't circulate heat very well on its own. A lot of RV ovens will have like a plate in there that's supposed to distribute the heat. It does not work well. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. Hello, this is my pizza stone. But notice, this thing is in one piece. It is the perfect size for an RV oven. I never clean it. Ever, I never ever clean it. I actually don't cook on top of it either. It's literally just sits in there to distribute the heat better. I put it on, directly on like the little metal um, plate that's in there already between that and the rack. Okay, this one. Oh, oh. I'm showing you all my dirty things. You know what? They're only dirty and look this way because I actually use them a lot. So you know they're gonna be really good products, okay? This is the, what's it called? A pizza pan. This pizza pan I got at the Dollar Tree. And the reason why I love getting oven stuff at the Dollar Tree is because it's the perfect size. If you go get a pizza pan from Walmart, you're likely going to find ginormous pizza pans. Um, we used to have a really big fancy one with like holes in it, you know? And it just, they don't fit very well in the oven. And also we have a convection, we have a convection oven up here when it's working. It actually went out recently, it doesn't work, but this will fit in, inside there as well. And so it's really important to me to have oven um, pans that fit in both our oven and our convection microwave. This is a dirty looking pan, but this is also from the Dollar Tree. And I, I have seen online that they have 
like 9 by 13 baking dishes, but I've never seen those in the store, so I don't know if they're really there or not, but the Dollar Tree is actually a really good place to look for kitchen items for your RV because they're going to be smaller. This is a collapsible sink, sink dr dish dryer. It's a dish dryer <laughs> and it is collapsible and it has a mesh hole thing in the bottom here that you can plug up or you can pull it over to the side of your sink and let the water drain. I, there are some out there I have seen that have a little spout underneath that will reach all the way to your sink. I wish we had one of those. We don't, we have just this basic one. This does the job and it works great and I could not imagine living in an RV without this because when it's not in use it gets collapsed down and stored away so that it's not taking up our counter space. This is our ice maker. This is something that we did purchase in Wendy when we had our travel trailer. We didn't think that we were going to have room on our counter for this in our travel trailer but we made it work. We were trying to make cubes and it didn't work very well for our family. So this has been with us now for several years. We love it. I love the color of it. I love that uh, it just sits over here on our countertop all the time. Now, what is this you ask? That's a great question. I saw this on TikTok not too long ago and I thought that is genius for an RV. It wasn't marketed for an RV, but it works really well. And that is this sink caddy. You can put soap here or sponge. We usually stick a sponge in there. That's where we let it air dry. And then you have these little mesh. They're, they're disposable, so we do try to reuse them as often as we can before we throw them out. And it comes with like a hundred of them. It comes with a ton. What you do is you stick it on this, like so. And then you put it on your sink. Like I would rinse my dishes right into this so that any food particles are gonna be caught in this net rather than going down into my sink. Yes, we have one of these in our sink, but the problem is you see how big these holes are. It catches all the tiny little particles, including things like coffee grinds that are totally gonna to go down those bigger holes. It works really well for protecting our gray tank. This is what we have inside of our refrigerator. It is a thermometer that keeps track of what the temperature is doing inside. And we didn't really have a huge problem with our other refrigerator in Wendy, but the problem we had in this one is we've been having a battery issue and sometimes our fridge stops working because our batteries have died and we had so much food get wasted. There were so many items that would spoil because we weren't keeping, like the fridge wasn't keeping a constant temperature. And while this does not help you keep a constant temperature, it does help you monitor it to see whether or not you're having a lot of fluctuations. If you start having food that spoils really fast, it might be because your refrigerator is not staying cold consistently. This will tell you a minimum and a maximum so you have an idea of what the fridge is doing. If you have a fifth wheel, you're gonna need one of these bad boys. I learned that real quick. I was crawling up on my counters to get to my cabinets and everything inside. As you can see, like, I can, woo, things are gonna fall out. I can open this, but I can't reach anything up there and it's really unorganized right now. So I really need a step stool. It's super helpful to reach all the things up in my super tall cabinets in the fifth wheel. My Instant Pot, it normally goes in here and since we're at the house, it's inside because I use it all the time. But I'm looking to upgrade because I wanna leave an Instant Pot inside the house for one in here and I don't have to drag it back and forth. So on my Christmas list, I put a Ninja Foodie. And I'm so excited to get one of these. I've talked to some people that have one. They can do the uh, pressurized cooking that I love about the Instant Pop. They can also air fry and like nine other things or something like that. That is one that I definitely would not RV without. And that is the ability to set and forget. Whether that's a, cook, um, a crock pot or an Instant Pot or the Food Ninja, Ninja Foodie. Any of those things are gonna be super helpful. The next one is not here in the rig because again, I took it inside. That is the magic bullet. We use the magic bullet a lot. It's fantastic because it's so small and compact. You can make smoothies. You can um, grind coffee beans if you don't have a dedicated coffee grinder. We have one now, but we used to grind them in our magic bullet. And it, anything that you need to like process, the magic bullet will do or there are the, the ninjas out there that can do them as well. 
and I'm thinking about getting one of those for Christmas also. Hey right, guys, that is it. That is my RV kitchen and the things that I find to be super essential here in the kitchen as we travel. If you have a favorite kitchen item for the RV, comment below and let us know. We can get a list going and that way if you have someone that you're buying gifts for or you need to give people gift ideas, you can give them those. We're only here in the house for like six weeks so we'll be right back to living in our RV here in just a few weeks after Christmas. So we are looking forward to it. We have a little bit more to clean up in here before we move back in because you guys know if you've been on the road, it gets real dirty over time. And it's nice to have a little break at, the, at home base to kind of catch up and refresh everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave us a comment, like, follow all the things, and we will see you out there.